Me need you close to me, me tell I say me Oh, stay on the road, bad energy, stay far away Make you stay far away Just give me love for the night, give me right, love for the night Right, welcome back to the night. channel guys, my name is Rahan, I'm a third year medical student Now, if you haven't watched the first part of this video series uh, make sure you check that out. I'll put a link in the description and it is how I managed to get 900 on the abstract Reasoning section of the UK cat now before I go ahead with this video I just want to let you guys know about my Media. now my Media are the first student-led UK cat and interview course in the north of England um, and I'll be joining my Media. Uh, on their UK cat and interview courses in this upcoming year. Um, I'll be giving my advice and I'll be one of the speakers um, on their courses. They've collated this course based on students who have achieved 900 in, in individual sections of the UK cat and um, basically run by medical current active medical students. So if you want to sign up to that, then you'll find a link in the description below. Now, the first resource that I want to mention. This is one that I've mentioned in my previous videos before, uh, so you can probably guess what it is, and it is Medify. Now, this is something that YouTubers, medical students, previous UK CAT uh, exam sitters always talk about. Now, Medify is an online platform and question bank uh, which you pay for. It's a subscription, um, and you can buy, you know, a week, you can buy a month pass. Um, at a reasonable price. Medify, in my opinion, is one of the closest things to the actual test in the sense that, first of all, the questions are very similar to the actual exam. Secondly, it gets you used to sitting the actual computerized exam because a lot of people buy the books, uh, the UK CAT question books, but in my opinion, you know, it's good practice, but it doesn't get you used to the actual exam because the exam isn't going to be a written exam. It's a, you know, a, a computerized exam. So you need to get used to these shortcuts. Like there's so many keyboard shortcuts that will save you like so much time in the actual exam um, and like flagging question and like Medify, you can practice this technique and other techniques that I've talked about. So. This is why I recommend Medify because the questions are very similar to the actual test and also like it gets you used to sit in the, act, sit in the test on a computer. It, 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 genuinely, it is one of the closest things to the actual test. So um, I used it myself and like it was um, probably the most beneficial thing that I, uh, I did for the UK CAT prep. Now another thing which I'd like to mention is that like some of the books that I used had questions which were a lot harder than the actual exam questions and when I was doing these questions like it's very demotivating like you just think am I actually this stupid like I'm supposed to do this question within a minute and it's taken me 10 minutes to do this maths question like I am gonna flop this exam like that's the thoughts that were going through my head when I was doing some of the boot questions. So this is again another reason why I recommend um, using Medify because the questions are very similar. The second thing that I want to talk about is YouTube videos. Now, um, see, I would like to think, right, I was one of the first YouTubers to make UK cat videos. Um, however, as I've been made aware, there was I think two other YouTubers who had done this before me. One of them's TV, and the other one I forgot the name of. Um, anyways, I'm going to say that I set off this trend to make YouTube videos uh, about the medical school application process. And now there are a whole load of YouTubers, medical student YouTubers in the UK who create content and give advice on certain aspects of the application process, which is brilliant. Number three, now this is a website called Speeder and it's an online ap application where basically it helps you develop a speed reading ability. Now, this is something that I'm terrible with and I've only recently started improving like after I sat the UK cat because I flopped the VR so bad like so bad if i if i didn't flop the vr yet i probably would have got like 800 i reckon i probably would have got 800 on my uk cat if i didn't flop vr it is that bad so this is why from my mistake i want to give you guys advice so you guys don't make the same mistake that i did now 
speed reading is an ability that you develop um, from reading books and, and, and articles and whatnot. Now, when I was younger, right, me mom couldn't even pay me to read books like you couldn't even pay me like it i would just not read books um so i'm not proud of it like i read books now be out of my my own interest but back then I, I i used to just hate reading so because of that my ability to speed read was very bad and very poor now speeder is an online application which you literally paste a, a huge amount of text in and it runs it at a quite a fast speed so you can sort of like it it forces you to read at that pace basically now you can slowly increase the speed at which it goes um, every day by however many words per minute you'd like and you know by the end of the week hopefully you should see that you're reading at a faster speed that you were than you were reading the week before now my advice would be to copy and paste articles from BBC Health, The Guardian, The Independent, Health Pages so that you're also keeping up to date with the latest health topics so you're preparing for your interview in, in one sense as well. That speeder, get speeder, it's free as far as I'm aware because I've used it and it was free, it never asked for any money. Um, so make sure you use that to improve your verbal reasoning your ability to speed read. I would also recommend after you've read the article at a fast speed, jot down the main points that you learned from that article. There's no point just reading a, a huge load of text and not being able to understand or recall anything from it. Like, what's the point? Like, you're not gonna be able to answer the questions. So try that as well. The fourth thing I wanna talk about is brain training apps. Now, you're probably thinking, uh, what's the point of doing brain training apps? I'm doing the UK CAT, not a brain training exercise and, and not a brain training exam. Well, the reason I say this right is because your brain is like a muscle. Now, it, it, in the sense that the more you work a certain part of it, the, the better it gets. So for example, if I play uh, a lot of tennis, or, if I play a lot of cricket or football and and you know sports well and, and basketball and rugby well my hand eye coordination improves and that part of my brain will will increase in size or um, the number of neurons in that section of my brain will increase. Likewise, if I work on my mental arithmetic, if I work on my vocabulary um, and, and keep exercising that part of my brain, that will develop further. So like I said, your brain is like a muscle. It works in, in like a muscle. The more you work your bicep, the bigger it gets. So in that spare time that you get, instead of playing Fortnite and instead of playing Clash of Clans, um, just spend 10 minutes, five minutes, every like couple of hours just on those brain training apps and, and you know, apps like Elevate. And there's so many other brain training apps out there um, that are free as well. Um, and just try to, to develop those skills and choose a certain sections that are relevant to the UK cap. For example, the mental arithmetic, vocabulary, um, memory, if you want to do that one as well. The fifth thing that I want to mention is the UK cap online tests. Now, I would probably recommend doing these online exams like the week before the actual exam because I want you to practice using Medify um, as many questions as you can and develop that ability um, and, and you know that those techniques and then in the week before your exam I want you to try like the there's three online tests on the UK CAT we uh, website try them and see what you're getting now if you think that it's not good enough then I would probably recommend you changing the date of your UK CAT course and you can change that for free uh, on the website but you know take it back by a week or two weeks uh, however much you feel you need you can do the, them under time conditions or you can do them untimed and um, that's up to you um, but it will give you an idea of how you know how well you're prepared or how you know are you prepared enough for this exam that you're gonna sit uh, next week so those are my five those are my top five resources for the UK cat. Um, the first one, Medify, you have to pay for. The others are free. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want other UK cat videos, make sure you leave a comment. 
I am making this into a video series, so you know, but I'm gonna work off your suggestions as well. Uh, so particularly, if you have any particular videos you wanna see, then comment down below and I'll try and get that to you within two weeks, three weeks, a month, five months, hopefully before the UK cat. Uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.